one. Someone is trying to go to the space and have the first ever concert over there. My name is Aaron Phillips. I heard he's coming to Ghana. I've been following him keenly. He's just dropped and I decided to come to him for us to have this conversation on why he wants to go up there and do it because we have a lot of places on this planet. We have a lot of countries, a lot of land. Ghana has so many places that we've not even utilized. Even in the UK, in Denmark where he comes from, there are a lot of lands that they've not even utilized. He's not going there to play a concert, but he wants to go all the way up to the space to have the concert. My name is Ayan Felis. I have Bibi here with me. He's a Danish from Copenhagen, where I live in Denmark. He mentioned his full name because, you know, the names from Denmark, you have some zeros with some rods in it. So Thank you very much for having me. Good evening. Good evening, how are you doing? I'm fine yourself. Yeah, amazing. The full name? Bjorn Lidø. And nobody will ever be able Bjorn. to... Bjorn? Bjorn Lidø. Okay. Bjorn Lido. Oh, Lido. Or Bjorn, or B, or BB, or whatever, okay. or... Yeah. Okay, so, so I'll go with the BB. BB is cool, yeah. Cool, yeah. So briefly, I mean, um, tell me something about BB. So, I am basically doing a project called Music in Space. Okay. Bjorn Vido and the Music and Space experience to mm -hmm. be in the full. And the idea is to send up our music in space okay. and play in 45, not actually we're gonna play in the stratosphere. So, and then you think, do this guy, is he really playing for the aliens? Is he crazy or what is happening with this guy? But everything is about the perspective and really we're doing this environment project and everything is not about playing for the aliens, but to, look down on Earth from space and see what's happening on Earth. Okay. I'll come so there, but I just want us to talk about you yeah. beyond then yeah. we go into that particular yeah. project. I mean, yeah, of course. tell us about you, I mean, yeah. 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 music, life and all that. Yeah. I mean, I've been traveling the world for the last four years and I've been working on this project for five years. Um, so basically it's, uh, yeah, my life, I, I'm working online. So I have left my home to find a new way of living and finding a new way after COVID and all that, or during COVID, just when it started, I started travel. And uh, yeah, it's good fun. So this year number four, the way for I long, started. For how long in, in, in music? Yeah, so I'm just playing concerts all over pretty much. Uh, I started in Barbados and US, and the following year was through Africa. I started up in, in um, Egypt and then okay. down in Tanzania and South Africa. I was in South Africa for four or five months. Okay. And then up through uh, Zimbabwe and Mozambique was amazing. Um, Botswana and yeah, all the way up there. Okay. And then back yes. to South Africa again, my best friend died, coming back and yeah. And uh, so yeah, a lot. Which countries in the South have you been? Um, I have been to 40% of all countries in the world. Okay. And uh, last year was a lot in uh, um, Australia and New Zealand and all the Pacific Islands. And how is the reception? I mean, when you go to these countries, it's 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 really good. Um, it's really nice. Um, people dance and all that kind of things. Uh, I just, I think I needed the last year, I've been really nice, I've been a lot in, in Asia, but um, it was, Cambodia was amazing, I had a really big show there for 3,000 people, I just needed two dancers, I needed two, uh, two singers and two dancers, and I was there for 10 days, I had a budget, nice, nice budget for dancers and singers, I couldn't find two people who dance, I couldn't find two people who can sing, I contacted all dance schools, I tried everything, but I ended up playing alone with my Why? guitar and my computer for 3,000 kids. Um, they're shy, they don't know how to do it, they don't know what to do it. And here I just had to go on the street and say, boom, bidum, beep, boom, bidum, and everybody got to be, yeah, hey, this guy can jam, and you know, you have a band in, in five minutes. And people answer the phone, so when I'm sitting here with my super cool crew and say, hey, let's get this guy, that guy, that guy, they're just like, ah, they have a budget, and yeah, yep, 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 next Tuesday, bang, you go. So in Ghana is like, and everybody speaks English. So I just miss that so much. So I just, I just, for the last four, five, six months, I'm known that I should come here. And I just had to go. The first time in Ghana? Yeah. Why Ghana? Because there are a lot of West African countries. Yeah, but there's four big cities in Africa for music, 
for the I'm a piano style music yeah. I'm doing. And uh, Cairo is one of them, but it's very much, it's more Arabian style. Yeah. Then we have Joburg, and I have a lot of where where I'm a piano originated from. Yeah, but I was there like last year for for five months, and I have played in Joburg Theater. I played a lot of big venues. I think I had 30, 40 concerts there, and I have a band there also. Um, yeah, it's 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 also a little bit. It's it can be difficult to be in South Africa. It's a different kind of. It, I think it's probably the most vibrant music environment I've ever seen. I think the music environment in Joburg is better than New York or Los wow. Angeles. I think it's on that level. I mean, it's really, really up there. London is probably even more booming, but then again, all musicians they, they play in London, they get zero money or tons of money. There's nothing in between. So if you didn't make it, you don't make money. And if you make it, then you are up there, up there right? But there's no middle in London, it's, and it's so expensive to be there. Yeah. And then there's Nigeria, and I haven't been there yet. I'm invited to go there next month and okay. record an, a beautiful artist um, that I think is amazing. And then we have Accra uh, of the four big music yeah. cities in uh, Africa, so, and everybody speaks English. It just makes sense, and you don't get. Scared. How has the experience been since you got to Ghana? It's been probably the most beautiful and uh, coolest experience ever. I mean, I just arrived, and then I met uh, this girl at Zen Garden. Zen Garden. And, yeah, and then we were talking, and we met the. Dancer Ivana from Flawless Studio, and you dragged AJ in, and then Ty Will was there, and yeah. So introduce your people to yeah, us. And then we introduce called Oscar, found him on uh, on uh, yeah on, on Instagram, and I was just went berserk when I saw what you're doing. So everything, and then we decided to uh, rent a big production house and get everybody together, so we don't get stuck in traffic, but actually can sit and do something cool. And then it's just been, it's been like magic. It's been like, first of all, AJ and um, Rama and me, it's been like three big trains hitting each other at the same time. Like, spoof, <laughs> It was just like that from first moment. I think in, in, in like five minutes, we decided to move in together. Okay. It's, oh. And it's not a sexual thing. It's not yeah. something. <laughs> just music yeah. and work. They have their department, and I have my department, and everything is cool. And okay. Uh, so I mean, f for how long have you been in Ghana? Huh? For how long have you been here? Three weeks. Three weeks, and I have a production house already. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty cool. What do you love about Ghana before you even go into other things? I have absolutely no idea. So one of my best friends, really good friends, she, I think she is, she's from Ghana. Her father was from Ghana. So her mother was from Denmark. I think she was a princess of something, something. Uh, Mikla and he, she always meant a lot to me. My first hip hop band when I was like 18 years old, and I asked her, she's working at the Free. Uh, there's, we have a place called Christiania in Denmark, the Free Town of Christiania. And she was working there, and I said, I need a rapper. And then she knew somebody from New York, and I said, I need a girl. And she said, Hey, you have tried to try Maria. And then we made a, a really cool hip hop band, so, and she's always been uh, very important my life and she had a problem she had a, a stroke and her brain is only working oh, uh, she's a little bit reduced she's still super sweet she had problems with reading and writing and stuff okay. like that. Uh, and she's from Ghana and she said I should go here okay and otherwise I don't know anybody from here at mm -hmm. all so um, now you're in Ghana three weeks what have you been doing what have you been up to with the team what I've been up to the team, uh, first of all, we have uh, taken some big decisions of what we want to do. And I think we are very much on a mentally strong, we want to engage. I mean, basically we want to change the planet. We, we, it's an environment project. This project is, and that's also why we are together here, sitting here today, because the project is not about me, it's about basically changing our habits and getting the environment right. Denmark is not going to be existing in 200 years. We have a very flat country. Yeah. Where I'm living, I think I'm in like five meters high uh, compared to the water. Oh. So, and the water is rising like one, two, three centimeters a year. So very soon I don't have my capital, my beloved capital, 
or we're going to have a new Venice. I don't know. Yeah. Perhaps, <laughs> perhaps it's just going to be cool. I don't know. But no, so we are very concerned and we're very concerned in Denmark. And I'm losing my country, basically. I'm losing my city. Um, so it's a, it's a very serious project we're doing because, yeah, it's, of course, we're having fun and all that kind of things, but we also, it's not, we're not having like a pop project where we have to promote ourselves. We have something of greater cause. And I think that's why Music in Space project is interesting because it's not about us, but we have something we have to come out with. What is each person here contributing to the project? What is the what? Each person here, what is the person contributing to the project that you are, you are having Music in Space? So, um, what do you think? What AJ. I, so, because you don't have a microphone on, so should I? Yeah, should you, you, yeah. So, um, first I met Rama. What are you contributing with? You're, uh, I think that the understanding of the whole concept, you are the first one to say, oh, it's about this, and then you are a fashion designer. Um, all the lyrics that we're singing about, I'm gonna play a song for you in a minute. Okay. But all the lyrics have a flip side to it. So if we have a song called uh, Gaia, She's on Fire, or The Girl, She's on Fire, um, that will be, I'm talking about a super hot girl, she's sexy, mm -mm -mm. But on the other side, if her name is Gaia, that means Mother Earth in Old Greek, that means that the Earth is on fire, that means that we are, we are destroying our Earth and we have a, a, a climate crisis, we have a waste crisis, we have a lot of plastic waste and stuff like that. And just, I mean, if you don't believe in all that, I mean, just go into your room and clean up your room, clean up your mess. It's not nice to see, it's not nice to be a part of, of so going Rama, to the water. So Rama is a fashion designer. So, so basically she came in and understood the whole project and said, hey, I'm, I'm in. Let's okay. do a music video and stuff like that. And, uh, because the whole conflict between the Mother Earth and the population that I have in the lyrics, she had to express that in the dresses. So everything is about Mother Earth, all the old thing, the old fashion. That's also what is interesting with Oscar and his body paint. Okay. Everything is the earth colors, the... Uh, I'm a Viking, I'm from Denmark, okay. so I'm a Viking. My name means bear. And my last name means White Island, okay. so I'm a polar bear. Pretty much like this. Okay. So we also used to paint our faces with mud and blood and skulls and all kind of things. So, like all native people did. Okay. Um, and the conflict between that and the digital and how we're living and air condition and lifestyle and cars and all the technology and computers and iPhones. I think that's very interesting to take into my music and also into the design. And Rama kind of got that instantly. So in the design that we're gonna do for the music video, it's gonna be the conflict between the old and the new, the native and technology. Okay, and AJ? AJ just, suddenly she was there <laughs> and she just popped up. And she was just like, I mean, we have a lot of discussion about I have, I have four long educations. I'm ed educated as a sound designer. Then I have a two year education as a, a business coach. So I'm taking your life and then basically I'm taking your life, spreading it out on a piece of paper, how we can do it in many ways. And then I'm gonna be a mirror and finding out how, what your desires are. And basically I'm gonna lead you a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm gonna make you look into your own mirror and find yourself in the big piece of papers. And it's a really nice rehearsal. So basically I'm developing people to find themselves. Okay. I'm just a mirror. That my second, then I got a, a MBA, Master of okay. Business. So I'm very good in the business. And I, I know, I also think I'm gonna invest a little bit in Ghana. Okay, that's nice. Both in people, but also in, I think we're perhaps gonna make a production school. That's right. Because I wanna, Give back. I'm, I'm, I'm very good at post production and stuff like that. I've been winning all the awards that exist pretty much in the world, yeah. except the, I didn't win the Oscar. Wait, wait, were you nominated? I mean, yeah, I've been nominated. Okay. okay. Um, or I've been on a nominated project, yeah. Okay. And for music and sound design. And um, 
but I've been winning like the Cannes Festival like 15 times, oh, sure. and the Epica and all the kind of, you know, all the crap. So we, 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 we come here. And then we're back to the music again, and these two amazing guys, and so yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, so we, we have the practical department very much in AJ and the blogging and finding all your talent, okay. because that's pretty much what we want to do. We're going to find and collaborate, and so why are we here, and why are you here? You're invited here because we are reaching out to all the best rappers and singers and people who can contribute, help us, help the environment, do something at home, save, yeah, turn off the aircon when you leave the room, you know, stuff like that. I yeah. mean, and even you, if you have plenty of money and you can pay for it, it's still energy that we're using. We're yeah. using the earth resources. So turn off the shit, and by the way, we have to turn off the food out there. <laughs> um, and so, or join us and join our Instagram uh, handles and, and all that. What is the handle? Uh, we, have, we have many, actually we have Bjorn Vido, B-J-O-R-N-V-I-D-O. We have Music and Space. Um, we have Bjorn Vido and the Music and Space Experience. Okay because I've been doing it for so long, so some people know me as my name, and some people know me as the space guy, the music and space uh, thing. Okay. And then we have Rama Black, and your handle is? Yoga Art. Yoga Art? Yoga Art. Yoga Art. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And mine is Anjo Black. Mine there is underscore Black. Anjo underscore Black. No, it's um, underscore Anjo underscore Black. Black, okay. I'm um, um, underscore underscore. <laughs> I'm, I'm underscore Adua underscore black. That's fine. And mine is Rama underscore black. Okay, Rama um, underscore black. Yeah. Hey, black black. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. the, the, the spellings are, are not the same. Okay, that's fine. So yes, I'm here. Um, about talking. We're talking about music in space. Uh, B our BB is the man with the team that he's put together about to do something magical for all of us to enjoy. Let me go and come. As soon as I come, they'll be by the machine giving us uh, some freestyles for us to see how things are going to be. When I come, we enjoy it. Then we have a proper conversation. Music is space. How is he going to do it? Why is he doing it? How long is it going to be? Can we, can we join him? It's space. Those of us who want to go and see what is there. If you get there, we get stuck. Like people travel abroad and don't come back. Then that one they wanna ohala. Are you back after the break? My name is Zion Phillips here with BB and his people having a conversation about music in space. That would be a lovely thing. I don't know. You have a problem, but ever I can take furniture. If you be fear, a money ma, and I'm a fear, a you fear. So pempa, yeah, mom pa, I know what day and pa miss what day near quality. I say pagola. Interior doors, any woodwork be awesome. You be yamo. I na to pin kuda. I na import old roof. I na say kitchen. O pesi efe se bo chedi. I na se pesi o tubi na koton. Fana me guasen na fre. O wanga. You wa dance man. Wa si gama school ni chia hono ma. I na face no. What's this more opposite? I get a furniture. Aye. Hey. Hey. Ah. I see ya. So we are back. I'm still here with BB. About to give us a freestyle of whatever we'll be experiencing when we get a chance to join them in space. My name is Alan Phyllis here inside his production house. And everything is here, everything is set for us to go live to enjoy him and the team about the new project Music in Space. So B. Yeah. We are ready for you. Yeah, recording, yeah. Okay, so what are, what, 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 what are you performing for us today? I'm playing a song called Hand Love, Hand Life, okay. about how beautiful everything is. And yeah, trying to create the atmosphere of a beautiful world. And That's fine. All that, kinds of things. Yeah. What, 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 what kind of genre? Um, pop music with okay. a twist of Africa. Sharp. So we can go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we can go. Are you going to dance? Hey, dance. Uh, please, who's, who's going to How dance? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So this song is called High on Love, High on Life, and we are music in space. Spurs, 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 spurs. Yeah, 
performance here in his production studios in the capital of the country Ghana be back when I come we we'll talk about music in space we're going to space my name is I Felix with BB here in are you gonna go to space with me yeah you want to come yeah we'll see what's going there yeah what's going on there I think yeah. it's big and empty yeah 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 it has room for everybody yeah are you back after the break so here with B Music in space. Why music in space, but not on planets? Why why is, why is it not enough just to play a concert, right? Because nobody has ever done it before. Why do you want to do it? I mean, everything is a little bit to do things with a glimpse in the eye, with a little twist. If I'm just sitting with my guitar and playing for my mother and my family, it's going to be sounding really nice. Yeah. But if I say, hey, let's do a project in space, then you're going to say, oh, what the fuck? Sorry about the bad language, but you're gonna say, what is what is that about? Yeah. But everything is actually about um, music and space. It's about perspective. So in general, it's about the perspective of love between people, how we're doing on this planet. And I want I want you, the listener, to my music to see. So if I'm in 45 kilometers out in space, how do I look at this little? blue and green planet flying around and we have no idea what's out in space we have no but right now we are alone in uh, this galaxy and there's probably some other life out there but we have no idea yet um, so how do we bring that perspective into our view of our actions in every day and the funny thing because I was saying how can I well educated I really want to do things how can I not do anything for the environment. Who is actually doing something for the environment? And then there was, I was reading an article about uh, an astronaut. And his, this astronaut say of all the 504 astronauts who've been in space, or actually they are not been in space, they've left the planet and they are just a little bit up there and then go down again. It's only like 17 who have been further away. But all the guys who have been outside this planet say, being up there, they get hit by something called the overview effect. And the overview effect is you see this little blue and green planet flying there alone in space and you just say, it can't be true, politics is so terrible. We have everything on this planet. We have, I mean, just look at, 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 at your country. You have everything. You have the natural resources that is enough for everybody. On the whole planet, there's enough for everybody. We don't have to starve. We don't have to be poor. We don't have to be... The super rich have to, of course, share something more. And we don't have to use all the money on security and cameras and uh, military and war and, and, and stupid thing. If you just see it, I understand the practical side of that. You don't want your neighbor country to invade you and stuff. But just if you just look at the resources that we actually have access to on this planet, then we can do anything, okay. any, anything we want. And, and, and by taking this astronaut perspective, music in space, what happens when we play a concert like on a stadium here in Ghana or some really cool place or Accra Beach Club or something like that. I think that's going to be our first show. Um, we're looking for places where we can play live concerts. So we, well, I think we're planning to play all country around and rent a bus or something and then just play. So um, yeah. is it feasible to do that in this space? I mean, we are just basically take a high end, a high altitude balloon. Then we have a satellite connection. Okay. Then we have a little loudspeaker. So we are, let's say we have a concert here. Then we send this audio signal to space. So actually it's a smart thing to do because it's not that expensive. Uh, so you're not really it, like really using any machine to fly into space to play no, concert. Right? and I found even I found a, a balloon, a higher altitude balloon, and I found that a company in in Miami okay. that's producing it. So 
when it explodes, because it will explode when it comes to 45 kilometers, 50 kilometers up there in the stratosphere, then it will explode and vanish into small pieces and they will fall down. And if it's made of rubber, it's not very good, but I found it in organic material. Uh, and then it's going to fall down again with all our camera stuff in a parachute and it will land like 50 kilometer radius from where we started. Wow. 100 kilometers perhaps. Wow. So yeah. if I understand what you're saying well. Yeah. You and, then we, and then we, everything is then uh, streamed live of course. So when we are on the ground we can still see ourselves from perspective because everything is how can I make you see yourself from the outside your perspective. How can you change the world and how can you be a part of the uh, solving the problem. So you'll be on yeah. planet Earth, but yeah. the, 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 there'll be a system in the, the sky. The, yeah, the sound is... But basically it's a metaphor. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a metaphor and it's a nice picture of perspective. What happens if we see ourselves from the outside? How do we change our life? So how is it going to be that? How is, is it going to be organized? When is it happening? Well, it's, it's happening very soon. It's popping. Okay. So uh, we, now we have the production house. We have this amazing team of body painters and fashion designers and musicians and bloggers and it, I mean we have a really cool, cool, cool team now and dancers and stuff. We're gonna make a music video next week, and I can't wait. Yay! And we have some really, really, really exciting uh, artists coming up, and then we're gonna do some pretty cool concerts. Happening here in Ghana. Yeah. Music in space happening in Ghana? It's happening yeah. in Ghana. Okay. So I'm just going to have a little trip to Nigeria and record an artist there. Uh, but I'm going to be here until 1st of May to start with. Then I have a meeting in Denmark for 14 days. And what's happening after that during the summer, I have no idea. But I mean, we are open. Our biggest goal is to come and play on festivals around Africa because, I mean, we have an African sound and I mean, my band is... Is Music in Space happening this year? It's happening this year. Yeah. Oh, okay. Has it been done elsewhere before? It's never yeah, been done. it was happening on a big stadium in Mozambique. Uh, and everything was cool, but... And the cameras, everything worked. And the tracker and everything, because the tracker to the airport, so it's not flying into a jumbo, so everybody yeah. get killed. We don't want any accidents, like 300 people getting killed, <laughs> because we had to play some music and have some fun and try to save the world by killing people who we, we think we, as humanity, we are over that kind of things. So, um, the sound failed. Oh, sorry. So, a full stadium of people expecting it. And then we, I did a big concert in Denmark for, uh, called the um, Climate Festival for 22,000 people. Wow. And we failed. Wow, what happened? Uh, everything was ready and I just had to have a bite of food. And there was not a cloud, there was no wind, there was nothing. And I just went off stage for... 20 minutes and then I came back and then had that been like a extreme wind coming for 15 minutes and they took the balloon with all the equipment wow. 15 min minutes before we had to release it. Wow. So right now... And the mayor was there and it was live television for Danish, uh, everything, everybody was there, there was 22,000 oh. people. Yeah, it was kind of not cool. So, <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> so I mean, with all these experiences, I mean, in Africa here yeah, where the sound had yeah. issues, in Denmark, where wind came through but to I'm, I'm not afraid of mistakes. I'm so, I mean, in Ghana I'm, here. I'm, I mean, I think there's a big misunderstanding that's saying, is it a mistake? And then, I mean, did you learn something? Yeah, I learned something. Of course, it was embarrassing that it didn't happen, but everything with space is expensive. And the whole idea for us to do this space concert is that everybody, not everybody, but with a very minimum amount of money, you can actually do it and you can do it yourself. So we are the DIY do-it-yourself project where it's very important that everything that we do is something you can do at home. It's like my guitars. If you look at my guitars, they're, they're really cool and they look really nice. And, and if you just come from a factory point of view and you get a, a factory guitar, it looks like shit, right? <laughs> and uh, then it just looks like this. Give it a little paint and, a little, and then uh, give it to AJ and then she's going <laughs> to bang it out because this little group, we have, um, we want to bring the best out in each other. Okay. We, we don't just go and say, hey, now we're going to save humanity. We're actually going to say, hey, my man, so how can I help you? How can you help me? You're a, you're a foreigner. Okay. You're a foreigner. You need uh, a band. You need concerts. You need it. I'm going to do that. And I'm so how are you that. making sure that the Ghana event will have mis uh, problems like 
what happened in the past. I think we're gonna practice. Okay. <laughs> Is it gonna be happening at a stadium as the one in Denmark or? I think we're gonna do it in the country, inside the country a little bit, because if the balloon flies like 100 kilometers and mm. lands in the water, then it's going to be difficult <laughs> to, to find it. I understand. Yeah, I understand. there's a shark eating it. Or so somewhere like in the middle part. Or yeah, part. so it's more going to be like Kigali or something. Yeah. Okay, so um, are there going to be other performers aside you and your team? Other performances? Normally, I set up pretty big shows where we have local artists. Yeah, it's a very important thing that we have Everything is connecting to the community. This project is not about me. It's, uh, it's about the planet. It's about learning how to behave, how to act in compared to... Yeah, I'm, I'm sad about all the plastic bottles, but I think that's... I mean, there's a lot of things we can do. Free um, or ticketed event? Normally, we're really good at uh, getting sponsors who want to support us so we are very good at making free events so everybody can just join okay and but yeah it's it's of course there's going to be both of course there's going to be like high-end concerts where really proper sound system and we are i know we are also planning to play on uh, schools and orphanage and for a lot of kids because it just makes so much sense to and it's the youth that have to learn to Behave. Why is Mother Earth or environment so important to be with all these music in space projects? Where else are you going to live? Like how the work is about. So, so, if, yeah. so if you don't want to live on this planet, where are you going to be? I don't know. So you, have to, you have to save the, the land. Yeah, we have to save the land. We don't, I don't think we have an alternative. There's no plan B. We have to fix this. And I've been traveling the last four years and I've been in a lot of countries that are disappearing. Yeah. Like Micronesia and Vanuatu and in Vanuatu I was it was very I mean it's it's my travel have been pretty crazy but I've been to people that lives like in the Stone Age. And the only thing that they I mean they're actually living in like in the Stone Age. There's people escaping, they're not escaping but getting away. They are becoming doctors and all kinds of things. But then they go back to the village and still want to live like in the old ways and it's really interesting and, the, and they have a new word called climate change mm -hmm. because even all their the places for for religious places that they had for 10,000 of years bang in 50 years everything had just disappeared they have to move up the mountain and all their religious places for 10,000 years have been destroyed by the water okay. and it's just disappearing the countries are just disappearing it's, I mean it's basically disappearing we have whole country called Micronesia, they have digitalized the whole country so they can find it again when the water is going down. Wow. So in 500 years or 1000 years from now they know where it is. Wow. <laughs> so apart from music in space, what other project is being working on to make sure that this project sinks into the minds of people, that we can all come together yeah. and help save this planet? I think for us, the most important thing for me being here in Ghana right now is the music. Collaborating with the best artists, the coolest artists, like people who really have something. Collaborating with uh, like uh, Incredible Siggy is going to be okay. a part of the music video. It's going to come on Monday. And collaborating with, I mean, really cool and creative artists and get the best out of Accra. And I mean, there's so much talent here. And yeah, I'm, I'm very humble and very proud to to be here and hopefully we can make some young cool or older whatever we are not age discriminating but make some really cool artists gonna blow them and take them there to an international level okay. and uh, i mean if i can just be a part of that and to give a little stardust and make people rise and and give the people a voice Okay. Is Accra going to be the last stop for Accra going to be the last stop for the Music in Space project? I think uh, the project is bigger than me and Music in Space. The project is about changing people how they behave. So of course we're going to be around for a very long time. We're going to play our music. We're going to do that. But basically, we don't need me. We need that everybody change their habits and everybody do that. And hopefully we can do it with some cool music where you don't really recognize that you are walking around singing our song, high on love, high on life. 
and suddenly you have all this music in your head and it just keeps on repeating, you know, while you go home and you're singing for yourself and suddenly you're singing an environment song. And I mean, the first thing I wanted to do was like, but you can't sing a song about the plastic bag. Don't lose your plastic bag or take the bicycle. I mean, that sounds not cool. It's not sexy. So I wanted to have a sexy way of, of, of so people can walk around and, and talk about the environment. And but how can you do that in a cool way? So that was why we made this project. So it's very important. It, it's very. Uh, yeah, it's 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 not a funny project in any way. Right. But that doesn't mean that we can't have fun because we are having a lots of fun where, while we're doing it and we are developing it ourselves and our skills and getting the best out of each other in this group as well. Beyond Vido happens to be uh, the man with his team about having a concert music in space to help save this environment that we all live on. My name is Arifelis. Your social media handles and probably your final words just before we go. Yeah. Final words, famous final words. That's gonna be yours. Rama, what is your famous, famous, famous last words? Okay, so right now what I can say is um, we need everybody to participate in this project. Like, come in, support us with your love, and the door is open for everybody, the youth, especially the youth, young ones who want to do music and have no background. Like, if you are good, come in, we are ready to receive you, we are ready to help you work, we are ready to help you bring yourself up to be the best of yourself. Yeah. Okay. And how do people contact you when they need help? Instagram. Instagram. We are doing everything on this social media thing. Instagram. DM us, we read your message, we get back to you, meet up, then we take you from there. Okay, the social media handles. The social media handles. Bjorn Vido, B-J-O-R-N-V-I-D-O. On musicinspace.com is our homepage, musicinspace.com. I think people can remember that one. And if people still don't remember me, look at the guy who played at the South Pole for the Penguins and was in all the medias some years ago. Oh. There's not a lot of rock concerts at the South Pole. Yeah. I was playing for the Penguins. We had to do things together to change the world. The penguins, they die if they're not in a big group in the winter because it's minus 60 degrees. So they have to be there. Yeah. I don't like cold. So how, how are you there? I have no idea. That was my worst idea. <laughs> Why would you go to the South Pole? It's yeah. so cold there. But I went there in the summer. So oh. it was not that bad. Yeah. But in the winter? Crazy. And people have two-year contracts. So everybody working there, they speak a little bit slow. Wow. And have plenty of time. Thank you very much, Bjorn. Thank you very much for having me in your production house. Thank you so much for coming here. It's a big honor for, for us to have you it's breaking the story. It's an honor. So I came here, I had a conversation with Bjorn and then the team, BB, Music in Space, coming soon this year, later, uh, later part of this year. Let's all support, save this planet that we all live on. My name is Zara Phyllis. On Instagram, it is ZaraPhyllis.com. On Twitter, ZaraPhyllis.com. TikTok, ZaraPhyllis.com. Facebook. Zion Felix in the Timmy News. Bye bye. We are back bringing you the latest lineup from Betway. Yeah, um, yeah. Betway starts strong with your front two with free play Friday and swipe bet. I'm a food man. In the middle, you've got all the control with cash out and build a bet. Plus, with win boost, you can boost your sports bet. At the back, they have smart picks and the partial daily jackpot. You always get way more with Betwin. And you might not see. <laughs> this offers have been vetted and approved by the Gaming Commission of Ghana. Bet responsibly. No under 18. Terms and conditions apply. Betway. Get way more.